everybody, Valka here. Got a big video for you. Three years ago, I made a Transformer collection video with music and everything of my entire collection, which I like, a lot of people liked. But for me and my child and anybody else who's interested in, I wanted to do an audio version of that, of like a voiceover edition of that video. So that's what this is going to be about. So it's going to be the same footage you've already seen, um, but it's going to be a little bit slower and it's just going to be me talking. There's not going to be any music or anything. So if you want to see the original, I'm putting a link to that right now up on the top of the screen. It's a much quicker video. This is going to be a lot more thorough, but it's going to be a lot of the same footage right now. This is all new footage, obviously, but uh, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just warning you, it's going to be very long, maybe 40 minutes or even more. So a lot of people kind of leave after 1986 line. So not many people care about the pretenders and all that stuff. So I'm just showing you some stuff as I kind of go through this. But I also wanted to point out real quick of some of my uh, Optimus Primes. Now this one, before I start that other video, this is my earliest Optimus Prime. He's got a, he's pre-rub, gray roller. But this one, interesting story on this one. I got him a box Megatron and a box Soundwave, all mint and boxed for 150 bucks on eBay. It's probably my greatest score ever. And I know this because I wrote down all these Transformers that you see, I write down every price, or just about every price, what I paid at the time. And that just shows you how much cheaper these things were back in the day. I am not rich by any means. I was just smart to start collecting around 99, which I should have even started earlier. I mean, there were reports of Soundwaves and Megatron, box Megatrons going for 50 bucks. I mean, it was crazy. There wasn't so much stuff on eBay either. There's like I think like 200,000 things to Transformers now. Back then there were like a thousand or less than that, but I wish I even started earlier. But that was a good score and he's put this in an automotive um, automotive department. I don't know why the hell he did that. It was crazy. I don't know how I stumbled upon it. But that was my big score. I just wanted to show, you, show that with you right now <clears throat> as we just go on. I just keep answering some more questions. Now another question I get a lot, well when are you going to sell? And the answer is I have no idea. The only bad thing, which I, I wish I had, is more space because I have a lot of these just all behind one another. Um, there's no space. I moved, so that video <clears throat> that you're going to see in a little bit is in my old apartment. I live in a house now, but it was a, a closet about 10 feet by 4 feet wide. It took me weeks to make that video. It just took forever because I had to keep shuffling things around, kind of like what I'm doing right now. I'm going to have stuff everywhere. Um, oh, yeah, I wanted to show you this. Or talk about this Optimus Prime. This one I got from a guy. I must have bought six. They were all sealed in bubble or they were sealed in box, but for some reason he didn't like the tape on the ends. He was the original purchase purchaser of these and he took the tape off. I couldn't believe it. I don't know why he did that, but he would have made even more money. But anyways, that's a mint and box Optimus Prime. There's no flap crease. That's like my best Optimus there. I bought from him. I bought so many off of him. Uh, I bought a, that hound right there on the left too. A grapple, a swoop, and a slag. I bought so many, he gave me a Christmas card. It was pretty funny. I forget his name, but uh, he was a hell of a guy, though. He was like the original owner. That's why I like the old stuff, because he's got history to it, right? <clears throat> and uh, here's some other things. Oh, there's Terminus Giganticus. I got him a while ago. I sold my Visionaries collection to get him, so. <clears throat> there's my cassette playing Soundwave, and there's my original Optimus Prime right here. Ugh. In a not original box signed by Peter Collins, but I got this one right here in this picture. You can see it. Where is it? Right in the corner there, next to the cabbage patch. That is that exact transformer. I was going through some pictures. I found some stuff. Here's my old Beast Wars collection. God, this must be from a. Uh, I still have all these too. I need to do a Beast Wars collection. 1980. No, not 1980. 1998, probably. Here's a few more shots before I go to the next video. But I just want to take a moment and just thank everybody that I've bought a lot of my Transformers from. There's a lot of good online websites, Transformland.com. I bought several off of eBay's the vast majority of where I got everything. It's because it's really the only place you're going to find a Skywarp Airjet <laughs> rocket thing. <laughs> but I just want to take a moment and just thank everybody. And there's also some people I sold some things to. And you'll see those. I got some pictures of that stuff at the tail end of this whole entire video. So... I just want to thank everybody for that. Also, I forgot to show this earlier. I got this a few months ago, but... So they re-released the 1986 movie in the theaters, and I was finally... I have finally had a chance to see it, so I went there with my wife, and we watched it in the movie theater. That was pretty cool, but I got this tattoo to remember that by. And that's going to do it. Now you'll see 
the other video. And here we go. There's your pre-rub prime. I already talked about them earlier. There's your standard prime rub symbol. Most common one you can get. And coming up here is a Pepsi Prime. There's no Pepsi sticker because it fell off, but it is sealed in box. And even better is I have the Pepsi can that you could get if you open it up. You win an Optimus Prime Transformer. It is sealed, and it's still got cola in it, about 20% Pepsi. There's Ironhide. Ironhide is sealed in box. Prowl, he has been opened. And there's Hound, really beautiful box on him he's sealed in bubble in my mirage I got on eBay oh he's been open before box is a little bit crappy side swipe sealed in box really nice box on him and there's a pre rub jazz another eBay purchase a long time ago these are some of my first ones there's trailburger I bought him sealed I actually opened him I mean people ask me hey why don't you open him well yeah I did I opened up several of these actually he was sealed in, in box I opened him up Sunstreaker is sealed in card. And there's Ratchet and he's sealed in box. Kind of a crappy corner there where the price tag was. There's Bumble Jumper. One of my later purchases, maybe three or four years ago. Let's see, there's Blue Streak. He's opened. Mitten box, so pretty good box. And a wheel jack. Now I have two wheel jacks. One I got a good deal loose inside box. That one's sealed though on the right. Braun, one of my favorite characters. Sealed on card. Bumblebee is not sealed on card. He's been opened. Huffer is sealed on card. And so is Wind Charger. Another Braun. He's been opened before. Gears is sealed. I got most of these on eBay. I think all these guys on the oh, there's my uh listening fun, cliff jumpers, those are cool. Yeah, I think I opened up I opened up the red one, but the yellow one I didn't oh, there's Megatron. And I think these are both pre rub symbol. Shoot, I gotta find them. Um damn. Yeah, I don't know if they're both pre rub or not. I can't remember. And there's my sound waves. Now sound waves missing the cardboard on the right there. You don't see the cardboard. But yeah, that other one is really good. It's all in used and everything. They've been both open, obviously. And uh, there's my, some of my cassettes. I think both of those sets have been opened. Not by me, but by previous owner. And there's my uh, pre-rub Starscream. I got all three Seekers pre-rub. That's cool. Really good. Glad I got that. Thundercracker sealed in box. And my prize possession, my Skywarp, he's my favorite character, period. He is got a beautiful box. I should really just take some pictures of him with his box. That is a perfect box. There's a Star's Command Center. You can get that with uh, robot points. Mail it in. And that's Masterpiece Prime standing next to it. I haven't watched this in a while. Oh, there's Jetfire. Okay, quick thing about Jetfire. So he was I bought him off a Pepsi employee. So they gave Jetfire away free to some of the Pepsi employees. Just wanna point that out. From what I talked to I talked to the lady that sold it to me. Her dad worked for Pepsi and they just gave him a free Jetfire. Pretty cool deal. Here's Omega Supreme. That was one of my first ones I purchased. I paid God two hundred and fifty for him back then. There's two of my snarls. Yeah, I paid around 250. A lot of things went for 250. A lot of these transformers went for 250. A lot of them went for less. Swoop, I paid 150. Same guy I bought second Optimus Prime in the video. Excellent box. Um, Sludge, kind of a shitty box. Uh, I have to upgrade him. He's been open. Slag, really nice box. Same guy I bought the swoop off of. Grimlock. Mitten box, he's been open but unused. About a hundred bucks for him. And Roadbuster, ninety bucks, man. But that box, I had to buy the box. The box was total crap, but he was sealed in bubble for ninety bucks. Couldn't believe it. And my friend gave me that whirl. I got a tuck kind of fast here. Smoke screen sealed in box. Box is alright. I don't remember what I paid for him. 
I'd have to get my my paper out with all my prices. Grapple, Great Box, Inferno, 100 bucks for him. I remember that one. Red Alert, excellent box on him. He's still the box. <clears throat> Tracks is sealed on card. And that is a pre rub skids, which is rare. No rub symbol, early version of skids, sealed in box. Perceptor was sealed. I opened him. I actually cut him open. I didn't care. Blaster. I don't know why I paid for him. 100 and something offhand. I'm not sure. And Cosmos and Power Guide. Power Guide was just jacked. Jacked bubble. <laughs> Probably 50 bucks, I think, for him. Sea spray. There's a lot of knockoffs of him. All these transformers, zero are knockoffs. Absolutely no knockoffs. There are two um, Chinese reissues that I'll point out as we go on. There's the jump starters. Those are sealed in box. There's some like fake uh, Browning King Dam Browning guns. And there's the uh, Omnibots. Those were all sealed in bags. Canadian versions, except for Overdrive, the red one. I open those. There's the Time Warrior watch. Another Malin. These are all the Malins right here. Power Dashers. <sighs> Devastator got that for 200 bucks and used stickers and everything. You can find Devastators everywhere now. There's, they've reissued the shit out of that guy. Man. And those are all the Constructicons sealed on card. Those are various prices I've got. I don't know. I got them all individually, either like from like $50 to I'd say like 125 Some of the cards are kind of crappy. They're not like AFA. I'm not really into that stuff. I don't really care. But uh, they're all sealed, though. I got them one at a time. <sighs> Happy I got them. There's Shockwave. Oh, I don't remember what I paid for him, but he's been opened. Good box, though. A lot of knockoffs of him. Be beware of knockoffs on that guy. He's, he's everywhere. Bombshell. I had another one. I sold that one, but I don't remember what I paid for him. Oh, there's Shrapnel. That's the first one I ever bought on eBay. In '99, so my that's where it started. All this collection. There's kickback sealed on card. Ransack. He is sealed in. Oh no, I opened him up. That's right. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have a good box. There's some more of the deluxe insecticons. Those are all sealed in bubble or box. There is my crappy Astro Chain. Oh man, his box is sealed. I paid uh, 90 bucks, 90 bucks for him. Faded as hell too. There's Blitzwing. I don't remember what I paid for him. Ramjet, I opened him up. I bought him sealed, I opened him up. I do remember Thrust, I paid $60 for a crappy, crappy box, but it's sealed though, pretty good deal. And there's Dirge, another kind of crappy box. Rodimus, so his bubble's kind of falling off. He is sealed on bubble, but it's pulling away. He's so stinking heavy. And $90. I remember. Rekgar, I don't know. There's a big rip on that corner there. He's sealed in box, though. In Stan Sandstorm, really good box on him. He's sealed in box. Broadside, sealed on card. Poster box version. Now, Springer. Okay, so Springer, you notice there's no rub symbol real quick. Probably somebody took a Springer from a classic box, one of the gold boxes, and just stuck it in a regular American box. That's my theory, at least. But he is legit. I got him before they started knocking him off. I can't remember. There's the aerial boss. I can't remember what I paid for him. Skylinks is open with uh, new unused stickers. Man, I haven't watched this video in so long. Let's see. Going back down. Cup has one crappy box. Ugh, I gotta totally get a new one for him. <laughs> He's been opened, I think. There's Hot Rod. Yeah, definitely opened. They reissued the crap out of him. That's the only one I can find at Walmart right now. Blur. He's sealed on card. Robot points have been cut out in the back, though. There's Hot Spot. I have the original Hot Spot when I was a kid. Um, that one is sealed on card. But all these Protectobots, they were all sealed at one time. And I opened every single one of them. And they're all the um, prizes in disguise. There's like iron-on patches behind those. That's what you get with that. I cut every single one of those bubbles open. There's some cassettes. Steel jaw has been opened and rewind. 
hubcap sealed tailgate pipes really bad bubble probably didn't pay much for him a wheelie outback I got from one of my buddies I forget what I paid but it has a really nice card though I think like 125 or something and gear or that's not gear swerve sealed on card Metroplex all unused I got that one along that was one of my first ones too Ultra Magnus that's a really good box too Galvatron Japanese obviously sealed in box 250 I think I paid for that one now keep in mind, I didn't have a lot of money. I'd just buy one of these once a month or something like that. I'm just an extremely cheap person. I just do not spend money on anything if I don't need it. Unless I want it's a Transformer, then I just go crazy. But, yeah, <laughs> that's my weakness. Really bad uh, Scourge yellowing there. But the toys, I opened up the toy up. It's uh, not yellowed, so I looked out on that. There's Reflector. Really nice Reflector. Probably 250 I think I paid for him. Nah, one of my favorite ones. Another one I opened, sealed in box. I think I paid 200 for him. There's some more cassettes. Octane. He's been opened before. No idea on the price of that. I'd have to look at my list if I can find it. Trypticon. Yeah, probably 300 something for him. I'm just guessing now. I don't have my, my sheet with me. i got to find it. So I can't remember all the prices. Yeah, the Predacons. Cool. Yeah, so these were all on eBay. Probably about 10 years ago, around the December. But uh, I won every... This lady lists all these individually on auction on eBay, and I won every single one of them from $40. Some went to about $60 or $70. Now, there's no bubbles on them, but they're all complete, and some of them have unused stickers, which is pretty good. Some have the glow and the dark poster, which is cool. Another extra bonus. They, they did come with the posters, too. And here's the Sundacons. Now, these were all sealed. I bought all these for 200 Another 200 I don't know why everything is 250 but <laughs> seriously, I remember this. This is what some of the first ones I bought here. All The whole entire set, 250 bucks had like a buy it now I'm like screw it all right okay they're all sealed every single one of them and I opened every single one of them when I got them and I put the stickers on them that was a long time ago god that was 15 16 years ago or something jump starters not jump starters uh those guys are both sealed I got some masterpiece figures here. Diaclone. <sighs> Combaticons. Vortex is sealed. Blastoff is not. Swindle is not. And Brawl. I paid 100 bucks for him. I remember that was a buy it now. And Onslaught is sealed in box. Now we got some throttle bots. All these have been opened. <clears throat> decoy. They all have the decoys though. That's cool. And I'm starting to get into loose transformers. So it was really hard to get everything sealed. At first I tried that, screw it, and I started getting mitten box and screw it. You, you see me going down as the years go go on or get higher. I started just collecting loose transformers I was like screw it. So Punch was sealed. I opened him up. I think I paid 175 for him. And then there's here's the Headmasters. Chrome Dome has been opened. Brainstorm is not. Hardhead's been opened. And Highbrow has not been opened. I think I I probably paid 300 for him. He's really expensive. I just saw one on eBay go for like 600 something. I was like, holy shit, fuck, that's a lot of money. There's some mini spies. Threw those in. Got that at a toy show. Target Master Crosshairs, 135. Yeah. Sure shot. 
I'm thinking like 150. I'm not positive on that. I need. I wish I could find my my list. I I have the exact numbers what I paid for these. Point blank. That's an excellent box, sealed in box. Beautiful box. Here's the um. Technobots. Those are all open, but they all have the decoys. Good figures. They're scatter shot. Good condition. Some of the boxes are a little bit beat up. Target Master Blur. Yeah, he's been open. And Cup 2. Don't remember the prices on those. Hmm. And obviously, Target Master Hot Rod's been opened. I think. Uh, some of these I have uh, a re reproduction bubble inserts, so grotesque, sealed in box, and repugnance has been opened. I don't remember the prices on those. Double Cross has been opened too. I think I paid 125 for him. Fastlane Cloud Raker. Yeah, I got these off a guy that was selling a bunch of stuff. Really weird guy. All his auctions ended at 2 a.m. in the morning. I This is before cell Well, there were cell phones, but I didn't have one, so I had to set my alarm to wake up to win some of this stuff. It was some crazy stuff. I had to go to get some of, this thing, some of these things. Fortress Maximus. Don't have a box for him. I Unfortunately, I wish I did, but I just don't. Sucks. Damn. Good condition. I got him on Transformer Land. Here's my Abominus gift set. I think I paid 300 something for that. All in use stickers, though. Really nice set. There's my six shot there. Now, that is a Chinese reissue. It's a legitimate license reissue, though. Hasbro allowed China to make some of these in the late 80s, early 90s. You can find more information on uh, high end Transformers. It's a great website if you want to know about. Uh, knockoffs and all that stuff and here's a headmaster horicons these are really cool figures he was sealed I opened him up actually both of these were snapdragon and eight face were sealed I opened him up eight face was another Chinese reissue early reissue 89 90 something around around that time and pounce and wingspan I paid only 45 bucks for those they were sealed in box the box is just crushed though so I opened them up. If it's really bad box, I usually would open these things up. These guys are sealed. These cassettes. Weird Wolf. One of my later purchases. He's been opened. And hit. There's Mind Wipe. Bought him sealed for like 300 something. Man, would I open him up? I probably shouldn't have done that. But Skull Cruncher. Seal on card. More target masters. And these are both opened. So I have a lot of open transformers. There's, there's Cyclonus. He is open, but his tar target master is not. I think on that one. Yeah, and definitely target master score just a repro bubble. There's no way in hell I was gonna pay like thousands of dollars for a, a sealed box transformer. I'm not that crazy, but misfire. Yeah. I do a cons. Now the tape, I just looked at my duo cons. The tapes, they were sealed, but the tape's like falling off. I'm like, great. So I really hate the AF grade, AF, AFA grade things, but it's the only way, you know, if somebody would buy it, they know if it was sealed or not. Scorponok, yeah, he was like 300 something. Big guy, but man, he's, he's going for a lot of money now. I was surprised they haven't reissued him. I just, I don't understand why not. Maybe. Maybe they have their reasons, I guess. And we start getting to some pretenders, and people are going to start tailing off now. There's, nobody cares about these guys as much. There's, they're both open. I probably paid less than 100 bucks for those. And you can see my collection is just kind of getting like weird now. <laughs> I just threw in a, some Target Masters there. Loose ones I have. There's uh, Beast Wars Ravage. I just threw him in there. He's a cool figure. Open him up. He's going for a lot now. Even the Beast War figures are going for a lot now. There's Getaway. A little bit of yellowing on him. The bottom sealed. And there's Joyride. <laughs> Slapdash. I paid like 200 each for those guys. They're open, but pretty good find. 
More loose ones. They were all... I think those guys were sealed on card, though. Sparkabots. Triggerbots. Some cassettes. Grand Slam and Rainness. That's a hard one to find. I think those were resealed. Don't remember the prices on those. That's an interesting one. That is actually, like, I think from Korea or something. You notice the sticker there on the end? It's a le legitimate... Licensed Transformer, though. He's good quality. I open him up. Nightbeat. Interesting. I wish I had all of them with the um, stickers on the ends. Hose Head. Weird. Hose Head's card or bubble's fallen off, but he's still sealed in box. There's my one of my favorite. Well, those are my favorite uh, pretenders right there. The animal ones with the animal faces on the shell. Outer shell. Really cool. Those are all opened. Man, we got um, Landmine and some, a bunch of other ones. <clears throat> Those are both open too. Clobber is pretty clear box on that. Oh, there's Quick Switch. Yeah, he was one of my first ones too. Man, I paid what, 60 bucks for him? Sealed in box? Way back. God, it must have been 2000 or something. But he's he's awesome. I got a hell of a deal on him. There's some other stuff. Oh, there's a. Uh, that's a reissue. That's the only reissue I have of uh, Japanese uh, Power Master Optimus Prime. God Jinrai. I just threw him in there. I don't know why. Here's some more Pretenders. Bomb Bursts. Both of those guys are sealed. And Bucks. I'm not sure what I paid for those. Oh, I wish I could find that list. Damn it. Some Marauder. Yeah, I didn't pay much for him. I think 30 bucks. Jeez, he was sealed. Nobody cares about Pretenders back then. I'm talking like 18 years ago or so. Quake. I'm starting to get loose, more loose Transformers. Spinister. There's Double Dealer. I paid a lot for him. God. Probably around like $400. That was a lot. He's sealed in box though. Got a loose one too, and there's Squawk Buck, Squawk Talk, and Beast Box. Those are sealed on card. Some Fire Cons. I think those are all opened, except for Spark Stalker. Horrible, hard one to find. Headmaster. He's been, I opened him. Well, he he was already open. Squeeze plays sealed in box. Fangry, he's been open too. Some prices on there. Then we got the Sea Cons, Snap Trap, sealed in box. Some of these are sealed, and some of them aren't. I can't remember. I think Sea Wing and Overbite are sealed. Matt probably paid less than a hundred bucks for each of these. I definitely not later's kind of crappy, crappy card there. I think they do look better in the gift set, but I couldn't find one cheap enough, so there's Blot, he's sealed on card, I just threw him in there. Yeah, the Power Master um Dreadwing and Dreadwind and Dreadwing or Darkwing. Cool. I don't remember if they were open or not, I have no idea. They were pretty pricey. Here's some more loose ones. More loose ones as the years go on. Iguanas. Oh, that's Finback. There's Iguanas right there on the left. Eight ninety nine. Look at that price tag. Just bold. Bam. If I could go back in time. Bugly. He was a cool one. I probably shouldn't open him up. He's probably one of the most expensive ones. Out of the whole pack. And we got your classics. Bumblebee, he's been open before. Actually, I might have opened him up. I think I did. And I opened up Jazz. Yeah, I opened up all these. Bumblebee, Jazz, and Grimlock. Classic pretenders. Yeah, I opened up all of them. They were all... God, they weren't that expensive. There's my Beast Wars glass again. I keep showing that. Pretender Skyhammer, he's got the... Gold Plastic Syndrome, where it broke, I opened him up, and uh, 
all that gold plastic is like breaking and here's some micromasters some of these are sealed these weren't a whole lot of money when I bought them 20 bucks to like 60 bucks somewhere around that range I remember that packaging's interesting on those alright what we got here Vroom and one of my later ones I got mint in box there's no bubble obviously he's a hard one to find if you're collecting pretenders he's tough and crossblades is even harder there's a giant price tag I paid a lot more than that and then we got some action masters I just got a few of these most of these were pretty cheap under 20 bucks when I got them more micromasters pretty cool those are sealed I know the air patrol wow I haven't seen this in a while little micromasters these will probably be the first ones I I sell when I start selling which I'm probably gonna do eventually uh, I don't know how long people keep asking me as I said earlier I just I don't know but the micromasters will be the first to go and some of the pretenders action master optimus prime 90 bucks I remember that day I bought him 90 bucks for optimus prime Sealed in box. Box isn't the greatest, but it's Optimus Prime. <laughs> and what do we got now? Okay. Monstructor. I got the whole set of these all loose. Yeah, the gold plastic. There's a little bit of broken uh, pieces on that. probably sell these I, I just don't have any room to display them so probably these with the some of the micro masters are probably the first things that go there's all the <laughs> there's all the parts tons of parts with those things there's bludgeon famous character don't remember what I paid for that there's my Beast Wars glass again god I'm really showing that off a lot <laughs> Star Scream, he's sealed in box. I wasn't going to open him. Octopunch. Cop Tour on the far right. Gobots. I kind of hit some stuff around here just to see if anybody would catch it. It's funny. Man, more MicroMasters. Jeez. I didn't realize I had that many. Military Patrol. Those are sealed on card, I think. And there's the Hot Rod Patrol. Not the Hot Rod, but the Racetrack Patrol. Wow, I do have a lot of... I didn't realize I had all these Action Masters. Some He-Man poster on the side there. Cool. Yeah, I got this guy from Transformer Land. About a thousand bucks, I think. A lot of money. But I wanted them. Everything's unused, though. Complete unused. This is one of my desks that I just threw it in there. I did a review on that a while ago. Interesting. It's pretty cool. Hard, hard to find that. Oh, and there's my G2 aerial bots. All sealed on card. Those are just really nice cards. I just felt like showing them. All beautiful cards on those. Just don't have anywhere to display them right now in the closet. Getting towards the end here. And there's Grand Max I sold some Transformers that you'll see in a little bit here to get this guy because he cost well more than a grand. Everything's in use. So. And there's everything I had in my old apartment there. God, it took a long time. Ugh. I was I must have burned I don't know how many calories bringing all that out in and out oh god this video took so long to do but if you're still watching it I appreciate it this took a long time I think I was standing on a chair to get that shot <laughs> crazy uh, all right 
And up next is some new stuff. I got just some pictures, and then it's almost done. Okay, so here we go with an Ultra Magnus. I sold this guy. I kind of regret it. it's Canadian. It's a beautiful box. Absolutely stunning. There's nothing wrong with this box. Poster box version 2. Here's the front, and you'll see the back here in a second. There it is. God, I kind of regret selling that. I didn't need two Ultra Magnuses, though. I just got this one because it was I got a good deal on it. There's a side shot. Still taped, still sealed. God, it's a beautiful box. Yeesh. Another nice shot here. And then we're going to my star scheme. Now the rub symbol one on the right, I sold. Don't have that anymore. Right there again, another shot. I don't have that one anymore. Sold that to get something else. And then we got my Mexican Skywarp. I don't have any more either. Damn, I kind of regret that. But look at the purple nose cones. Look up there. You'll notice the purple nose cone. That If you look at any 85 or 84, 85 uh, catalog, he's got a purple nose cone. This is This is it. So... There's another better shot right there. And we're coming to a close. Another shot. And we'll just show a little bit, and then that's going to be it. Okay, here's some Megatrons on the top there. The last, or the one on the left. I sold that one a while ago. And we're almost done. Here's just one more shot. I want to thank you all for watching my video. It's taken a long time to do this. It took me even a longer time to do the first one, but uh, this is kind of fun as I haven't seen this video in quite a while but there's an old shot of my old closet my old apartment miss that place it was a hell of a nice transformer little room you could just walk in <laughs> lots of good times in that place but uh thanks for watching again i will see you soon